talk about displaying uh, an XML file in a web page. Um, I have made this simple XML with just a root, and we're gonna show uh, title, rate, and some notes. And to show this, we'll to show this uh, XML data into a web page. Uh, there's a couple ways of doing it, but uh, on this example, we're gonna do it using the XSL style sheets, and uh, it's a couple of lines of code. Uh, but let's see the output right away. So this is how it looks after you type up some code, and on the first part we're using the value of the uh, property for that namespace and but th the problem with using this uh, is it will only show you the first the first part of the XML but um, we need both both childs so to do that we have to use the for each and inside a for each then you use the value of. So let's go through our Excel style file. And first, you gotta make sure you have your namespaces done at the top. And after that, if you're using Visual Studio, it will generate this template for you. So you don't have to worry about that. After that, in this case, we're going to be using some uh, CSS styles, and we're setting the background color to black, you know, white. That's gen generic CSS stuff. And the XML part is right here. Here's where it starts. This is the first part where we're using the value of. If you use this property and set it to this to select this it's only gonna give you the first part but if you go down and use for each and we're telling it to go at the root then under the TV child and then from there then we can use the value of so it's gonna this is basically a loop so every on this uh, root TV is gonna loop and get us our title then it's gonna go get our rate and finally our note and in you can format or give colors you know use uh, HTML tags to format your output so you can get colors underline you know a basic line so that's all it takes to work with uh, to show your XML file in in a H in a HTML file in your web page. Uh, for this to work, the last thing you gotta do after you're finished with your how you're gonna present your XML, you have to link it. So the way to link it is at the top of the XML file. You have this. And this, once this runs, it's going to look for your XLL file, XSL file. And then it's going to look like this. Without that, it's not going to work. It's going to look all messy. So hopefully this will give you an idea how to start working with XSL files and showing your data nicely on the web page. Thank you for watching.